Hello my loves. Welcome and welcome back to Monocopes' Tarot. I am Amira. Here with your uh, daily reading, all signs, timestamps will be down below, as well as anything else you want to know about me or this channel. Uh, we're going to do all the way from Aries to Pisces today. Okay, in order of the zodiac. Um, thank you guys for being here. Okay. My new subscribers, my old subscribers, I appreciate your love and support here on this channel. Continue to like my videos, continue to um, support the channel by throwing in some comments and things of that sort. It's much appreciated. But anyway, this is going to be for October 16th on or around, okay? Take what resonates. All right, let's get started. Aries. What message do you have for Aries today, please? This is the um, Star Spinner Tarot. For those of you who care. Um, somebody here is like curious about you but in a negative way you have the hermit card showing up could be a Virgo or someone who is older and spiritual I feel like they are wanting to I feel like they're looking for you I'll be honest yeah here's a tower at the bottom of the deck I mean they might find you today if you've been hiding or didn't want to be found some of you have moved into a new home with this four of wands here, but I feel like, um, yeah, and this person is showing up as the knight of pentacles. You're showing up here as the page of pentacles. For some of you, this may be, um, may, I don't know, maybe it's a spouse that you ran away from. In the center here, you have the five of swords and the nine of wands. Not very beautiful energy. That's quite um, abusive, okay? Um, but whoever this is, somebody here is looking for you. Okay. Interesting. Taurus. What a way to start out. What message do you have for Taurus? you are oh, I'm getting these words mixing and mingling dip dibbling and dabbling <laughs> wow okay you're showing up here with the magician the moon and the sun was at the bottom of the deck the knight of swords so um Taurus you're there's something here that you're trying to create right um but for some reason it's seeming like you need more information for some of you this is going to be a business wow beautiful beautiful energy here and especially like if you've been um waiting to hear back from someone that's definitely here i, I see you um having been working hard though behind the scenes okay tons and tons of major arcana showing up here along with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords, which is that person who gains the clarity, okay, along with this own card. So the clarity or information here is coming in because it seems like you've been in the dark a little bit. Gemini.
Let's see your card. Showing up with the tower, the two of swords. Um, Gemini, somebody here is coming out of of denial. Okay. I feel like they are missing some connection that you guys had or um yeah, I mean physical connection. Um but just a lot of like a very passionate connection here as well. Yeah, this person is showing up as being very tired and wanting a second chance, okay? Um, like I said, coming out of denial, yeah, with the Page of Pentacles, coming out of denial, like finally realizing that they're having some regret here today. Cancer. So somebody wants to um, offer you an apology, okay? Um, they do. Uh, they're, they're, they're seeing you as very um, attractive, and, and whether that means physically attractive or um, attractive as a, you know, a friend or a family, I mean, excuse me, not a family member, a friend or a business partner or something like that, this person is wanting to come in, yeah. There you are. <laughs> they want your attention. Okay, they want your attention here today and they want to, um, now whether or not they're going to do it because they are coming off a little bit shy, uh, but they are wanting to apologize or have some sort of communication here with you. Okay. Leo. Leo, you get some exciting news today. Um, yeah, and this is very unexpected. It may cause it may call for you to travel somewhere, especially um, at night. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Whatever this is, um, like I said, it's, it's exciting news, an exciting opportunity um, to either gather with your community or, or have some sort of, of comfort in that way. Virgo. Somebody's making a decision today, <clears throat> and it is a final decision. <laughs> All right. 
Um, some of you, this is going to be um, you deciding to file the paperwork to get a divorce. Just saying. Yeah, just saying. That's what's here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. You have um, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Cups showing up for you. Okay. Um, there's definitely some sort of contract here that's being uh, negotiated. Okay. Um, I feel like whatever this is for you, Virgo, is it may cost you a pretty penny. Okay. Libra. Oopsie. Got a card on the run. There it is. <laughs> Look at that. You were trying to run away from me. <laughs> uh-uh. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, tell me about Libra, please. What's the message for you? Oh, universe, universe. It's crazy how things work sometimes. What's the message for our um, our birthday boys and girls who are trying to run away? <laughs> Happy birthday, Libra. All right. Ten of Swords. Okay, are you running away from this ending with the Empress and the Five of Wands? Um, who is this person showing up? Now, this is your energy. Could be you, could be someone else. We also have Aquarius here, as well as all the fixed signs. Um, someone here, whether it's you or um, another individual, use your insight and intuition, is trying not to end a situation. Someone is, is uh, uh, um, they're, they're wanting to prove a point, okay? Wanting to prove a point, um... Um, someone also is in need, um, of healing. Okay. Well, I feel like this has to do with a baby or a pregnancy or something like that. <sighs> Interesting. I do. But that's what's showing up for you today, Libra. Okay? So just be mindful. And like I say, use your insight and intuition as to, honestly, as to whether it's you or another individual. Okay? Scorpio. decide today um, <laughs> where to put your money. I feel like it has to do with whether or not you should give to something or someone else. Okay. Why? Yeah, you really can't decide. I don't know if this person, um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is someone that you live with or at least someone that, um, it's like they contribute to you in some way, so you're feeling obligated for some reason. But I feel like you are also uh, tired of it, yeah. Like I said, this is gonna be someone that you either live with or a family member or someone that's a part of your tribe, you know what I mean? Like, like sometimes they give to you, sometimes you give to them, but for some reason, either you're not feeling like it is equal today or you're just tired of um, giving. For some of you, it could just be that you don't have it right now, and if that's the case, you know, say that. Sag.
Let me get some coffee. Hold on, Tej. All right, I'm back. Um, something here needs to end, okay? You have the Wheel of Fate at the bottom of the deck, which is the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> the thing about this wheel is sometimes we're at the bottom, sometimes we're at the top. We just have to kind of ebb and flow with what the universe throws us. Um, I feel like the universe is trying to throw you to the top of the um, cycle or circle, whatever you want to call it, but... Um, there's an ending here that needs to occur here, occur here first. Too many words trying to come out of my brain and out of my mouth. Um, I, there, there's something here, uh, uh, Sash, that you are attached to. You have Capricorn and Scorpio showing up here. But look at this. The universe is trying to bring you a new, um, I don't know why I wanted to say platform. Okay, they're trying to bring you this new beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe for some of you, it is about a platform. Something here that you are attached to, though, whether it's a person or a uh, thing, okay, it it drains you, all right? It drains you. It, and I feel like uh, it's very enticing. It's very exciting, which is like precisely what the devil card represents, okay? It's something that really attracts you. It's, it's, it's uh, tempts you, you know? lures you in with that exciting energy um but it also then drains you and it doesn't allow you to pour into yourself or uh the things that you need to do okay so something here needs to kind of um be detached okay for some of you this may be a belief this may be a person like i said okay but there's um a stubborn energy here that you need to kind of um identify and release okay Capricorn. Hello. What message do you have for Kathy? this Capricorn Gemini or a cancer there's some kind of um, okay two different things there's some kind of relationship showing up here um, possibly someone from your past with the judgment card here I feel like this person um, wants to have some sort of refreshment <laughs> That sounds weird. Not like a mint, okay? I mean, <laughs> like with this Ace of Wands, um, to like, it doesn't feel like rekindle, okay? But just like clear the air kind of thing, kind of conversation um, is what I get here. I also feel like there's some kind of um, contract showing up here with this lover's card now for some of you this may be um like i said a contract or a friendship um this could be a family member this could be a romantic relationship the, the gender aside okay um because in this deck there are four lovers cards i i chose to keep them all in there because to me they mean different things um, but this person, like I said, is showing up as wanting to, look at this, wanting to offer you some sort of apology or peace offering in order to move forward and have a new, um, like, I just feel like they want to clear the air here, okay? That's what's showing up for you today. Aquarius. What message do you have for Aqua? Grand Slam. You know, 
I feel like that means multiple things the more that I think about those two words together. But initially, it was coming through as poetry. I don't know if someone here writes poetry or they're, they've been reading poetry or thinking about writing poetry. I don't know what that's about. And then it moved me into, I think there's something like at IHOP that is called the Grand Slam. I feel like there's also something in baseball that is called the Grand Slam. I don't know what it means or, or, or anything, but I'm just telling you what I'm getting. Okay. All right. Papa, you're showing up here with the death card, the eight of wands, and the strength card. Who are these, who is this not communicating? Okay, five of um, five of chalices, which is the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a desire. It's interesting. I feel like there's a desire here between two people. Yeah, but look at that three of swords in the middle. You have the eight of cups, the three of swords, and the page of pentacles. Like, um, d very stubborn energy here, okay? there's There's been some sort of, like, argument, likely. Yeah, there's been some sort of argument, right? And um, I feel like one person may have walked away, um, um, either walked away from the argument or walked away totally. It seems like this person is completely done, if I'm being honest. <sighs> Pisces energy with the Scorpio energy, maybe a water sign in general, for sure. Um, interesting. I don't know why, but I feel like this is your energy over here. With that um, strength card. But like I say, you're both showing up as being very stubborn. Okay. What's the message for Pisces, please? Pisces. Pisces, <laughs> um, you are in a my way or the highway kind of energy today. I like I don't <laughs> um, like I I'm good by myself. I don't even need you to make decisions for me. I don't need you to make money for me because um, there's some sort of um, um, conflict or even ultimatum I don't know something here that someone says kind of sets you off for some reason yeah there you are showing up and showing up there okay this is definitely your energy here Pisces why is it it's interesting because you're showing up here with the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck which is someone who is managing their priorities just fine okay who's properly um, balancing things but I'm not sure if someone is trying to challenge you and say that you're not ready for something okay or just say that you you, you know this may also be someone who is wanting to offer you guys um, um, some sort of commitment here today and you're just not interested because you're showing up in this nine of cups and nine of pentacles energy that is someone who is about themselves all right next for Pisces. Guys, this has been your daily message. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope something resonated here with you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.